My name is iMicro, I usually make tutorials surrounding the game Team Fortress 2, but today's topic will be quite different. Uh, today we'll be looking at Discord optimizations. Now before you click off, this may still be of relevance to you, so I suggest you stick around. Lastly, I want to thank my friend Boosie for the music, there will be a link to his SoundCloud in the description. What we're looking at today is OpenSR, a rewrite of part of Discord's desktop code, making it faster with additional features. You can read more about it on their websites. Talking about their website, that's where we'll start. You'll find the link to the website in the description below. For people on Windows, simply hover the install drop-down and select the one you use. I, among most of you, use Stable. If you're uncertain, you can open settings and check the bottom for more details. Since the download is a .bat file, your browser may warn you about the download. However, you should be able to click Keep Anyway or something along those lines. Once installed, you simply run the file. You're likely to get a Windows Defender warning as bat files can contain harmful pieces of code. If you're worried about this, you can right click the file and make it into a text file. Open it and review the code to see what it does. But simply, this part closes Discord, then it waits 5 seconds to make sure it's fully closed, and then it makes a backup of your current SR file in the same directory before installing the optimized version here from the GitHub. The rest just tries to open Discord and prompts you with a little message. Should you want to review the SR code itself, you can open the link to download the SR file directly. Anyways, presuming you ran the bat file and everything went fine, once Discord is back up, you'll be prompted with this fancy config window. There are a few settings here, but to put simply, I suggest putting focus to performance, no track, on if you care about your privacy, disable typing to remove the typing animation when you send a message, splash theming is more for people who want to customize the Discord client further, quick start is recommended, it'll start Discord way faster than the default version, and lastly multi instance, which allows for multiple clients of Discord open at once. I don't use this, so I can't personally recommend it, however it's really just up to you. Lastly there's the theming tab. Here you can add custom CSS code to your Discord client. This is also another feature for the especially interested, but has a lot of potential. Here's an example of what the client can look like with custom CSS. Should you want to learn more about that, I suggest the Better Discord Discord server, where they have a dedicated channel to custom CSS and CSS snippets you can just copy paste. Lastly, for you Mac and Linux users, don't worry, you can still use this, it's just that the installation process is a little bit more manual, having to make a backup and replace the SR file manually. There will be a link to the wiki page down below on those instructions. That's about it, for support with this you can join their Discord on the website. If you want to ask me any questions directly, there will be a link to my own server down below as well.